Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here getting ready to take out the German HE-112 V5 in Air Realistic. This is a mediocre plane at best, so advantages on it is it turns very well at high speed and it has nose-mounted guns. Disadvantages are at low speeds it turns horribly, so you can't turn fight with it. Um, you're going to lose energy pretty quickly as soon as you turn. It has 7.92 millimeter guns, so if you are energy fighting, you normally want 20 mils or 50 cal, something you can make one pass and knock a plane out of the sky. Uh, this one, you typically need multiple passes. And yeah, there's the other energy fighters out there will out climb you and out energy fight you. So let's uh, take it out and see what we can do. All right, guys, so SITREP is, we're on central Tunisia. We're up against America, Italy, and Sweden. Yeah, La Svenskas, just two uh, groups, two on their side. See a couple squad guys, but they're playing alone, so we should be all right. Uh, we went ahead and let the bombers pass, not worried about those. And looks like we do have an energy advantage so far, so hopefully we can keep that up. We're gonna go top down, P26 looks like their highest player. And go for him and just go over the rest of these guys down here. Um, not a full up tier, just mostly up tier 2 0 match. We're in a 1 3. We will take it. BF2 is going to get taken out. Big group from down here. It's about to meet our group. Looks like they're going to have the uh, numbers advantage there. All right, so P26 is diving a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and split the difference between him and the J88, see which one of them wants to uh, continue to climb. Keeping half an eye on that J88 off to the left. So you wanna set yourself up where it looks like they can get you, but they can't. All right, so those guys are good. Let's get after this J88, push him down, and then uh, we'll go down and worry about the rest of them. So we shouldn't have any trouble catching him. Should have an energy advantage when we get there. He does have some good guns on him, but uh, we're much faster. Let's go ahead and aim in front of him. See if we can't catch him a little quicker. Take a look at how our boys are doing. Looking real good. All right, so he's off alone. That's good for us. I don't want to get into it with a bunch of them. Somebody just bombed that base in front of us. Still catch him a little bit, but we should catch him quite a bit now that uh, he's flattened out and we're in a shallow dive. Looks like he's going to try and shoot the base. That means he's probably pretty new to the game, which is great. So ideally, if we had the 50 cals or 20 mils, we could do this in one pass. And uh, let's go ahead and throttle down so don't rip wings. This one, we might have to do multiples. All right, he's down. Let's go ahead and turn that speed into altitude. Nobody on the radar around us. Go ahead and flip back over. Cut the web and head back in. So our team's done pretty well. They're down to just like maybe six, six guys left. Of those, let's use a bomber. So one, two of them are bombers. Okay. Swordfish dogfight in the SPD. Good luck, buddy. You got this. Couple TBDs above us, so both those guys are likely going to go back to their base. We will try to intercept that one possibly, but still go after this SBD in front of us. Put ourselves lined up so that we can do both at once. Swordfish is holding his own. Good job, buddy.
want to help him out, but I also don't want to take away a kill that he's going to get in that thing. Yeah, SPDs get a little too close for comfort. Let's go ahead and dive. Completely missed. Got to watch out for his tail gunner. He's got a 50 cal. Alright, he's down. Where'd those TBDs go? There he is. Alright, so still 700 rounds of ammo left. Apparently he didn't want help. Okay. Oh well, buddy. Alright, so let's try and cut this guy off as he goes back to his base. I just have three guys left. He does have a tail gunner on him with 50 cows, so you gotta be careful of that. Also, we're flying over their AA, so could get ourselves in trouble that way. Doesn't sound like a 50 cal on the back, but I'm pretty sure it is. Just go ahead and flip back down. Try to get a good angle on him here. Alright, so nothing else to worry about in the sky right now. Let's go ahead and get after some of these grounds. 550 rounds left. Should be able to take a few out. So we're trying to stay high enough that we can get an angle on him, but low enough that the AA doesn't shoot at us. That's your ideal situation. Check the skies. TBD over there. Oh, he's still going. Hmm. Thought that fire would take care of him, but looks like he might get an assist. on these AAs, clear them out. Uh, just 84 rounds left. We're actually behind in points, so we'll go after the artillery now. Make sure we got a little bit of a lead before we RTB. 44 rounds left. Not much of a lead, maybe tight. Let's go ahead and burn up our engine as we head back. Alright guys, I'll check back in with you once we're re and refueled and repaired. Alright, so our teammates took care of it when we uh, landed, so... Yeah, it's a mediocre plane. We, we got lucky on that one that we didn't have to deal with too many uh, guys on the other side that climbed in energy fighters. So ended up with two air targets, eight grounds, and second place in the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.